Hey guys, um, over the last couple of weeks I've been doing a lot of Sharp DX, um, XAML and C Sharp demos. Um, and now that release preview, preview's out, I'm combining all those demos into one big demo. Um, and uh, putting them all together and seeing the how you, how everything moves between each of those demos, it just, it just gives me this, you just see just how smooth um, Windows 8 is. So let me just run the demo, um, that the combined demo for you. So I'll have to go find it. I think it's installed here. It's this one here. So like it, I've put every, all the demos in into tiles, into an inertial control, so that you could like inertially. If there's more than one demo, then um, you'll be able to inertially scroll to it. But yeah, it's just so smooth. And then when you see all the demos sort of um, loading and unloading between each other, so there's the numeric pad with touch tiles, beautifully loading. There's the, um, the same thing, but with an alpha numerics. The backgrounds for all the um, demos have um, images that I render with gradients or blurs or, or brightness effects uh, via Direct2D. So like, in, there's no real static images now. Um, and it's all very performant. I'll show you later the task manager. Well, I'm doing, I'm moving between all my demos, but, and here's my animated GIF. Um, there's the GIF being animated, uh, inertial dots, the uh, four um, inertial layers, all with different sensitivities. I did a blog post about that, and it's just all smooth. And go back to the new pad, pad. just doesn't skip a beat. And then here's my um, a ripple. Uh, this is an effect graph with three effects um, graphed together to produce the ripple effect, a, a pixelated effect, and the, um, a bitmap source and a brightness effect. And then here's the um, the lighting one, you know, with um, the built-in lights, lighting um, effects in, on Direct2D. The background's also generated dynamically in Direct2D. Um, yeah, so you've got the ribbon one here. It's very fluid. and that wood um, with a radial gradient and a lighting effect and it's all very performant it doesn't skip a beat the rendering I'm loving it of course two, two new demos there the um, interpolation modes and composite modes my dynamic backgrounds Yeah, just it's beautiful. And now, if I bring up Task Manager, and I'll forgive me for this, but I'm gonna um, hold the camera close to the bottom right corner so you can actually see. I see you won't be able to see the full screen, but you'll see um, what you'll you have to look out for is something called the. Uh, sandbox is the game, um, is the app. So I think you see it there. It's a second from the top. Now it's disappeared because it's just too low. But if you, if I start doing what I was doing before, you'll see sandbox appear there. Two point eight percent. It never really goes above um, seven or eight percent. It's always like five percent. No matter what I'm doing, no matter what if um, where I'm in, it's just. The performance of uh, XAML Sharp DX and C Sharp in WinRT is just beautiful. See, it's still 5.7% there. And that's the inertial controls, um, lighting effect. Well, that goes up a bit, but like it's it's close. Uh, as soon as it settles back down, go back to the home. Yeah, you know. Inertially scroll that home screen and it's still there's my animated GIF. Beautiful performance. The keypad, numeric pad, dynamic background. Just proving to you that and this a lot going on, all the backgrounds as I mentioned earlier, they're all being 
uh, dynamically generated and everything has motion and all the animations are that are there are storyboards or the built-in transition animations it's all very fluid i'm very very happy with the performance of minati xaml and you can actually it's very very visible when you when you have all these demos in one demo and you move between the demos anyway i'm hoping to get this these um this consolidated demo pack um out um hopefully this week so that you guys can uh, play with it there's not enough demos out there for us manage metro Sharp DX, uh, Direct, uh, DirectX developers, um, everything. It just seems like Microsoft is slanting it towards the C++ and JavaScript world, but like um, I'm trying to um, give us C Sharp developers something to play with and something to um, feel good about. Anyway, so yeah, loving XAML, loving Sharp DX, loving DirectX, and loving the performance of WinRT.